Hello everyone, this video I will show you our new product. Uh, this is KC868AM. That board is the mini version, so we call it AM. You can see here only one relay, but there are many GPIOs for you to use. And you can define your functions by different GPIOs. Because some GPIOs, we have already added the pull up resistance so that you can connect with your one wire sensor, such as the DS18B20 sensor or you can connect with the DHT11, DHT22, or DHT21 uh, the sensors to this terminal. And also have an I2C extend, so you can extend the GPIO and extend the sensor by this I2C part. And in this part, we have used the ESP32 chip, not module, just a, just a chip. So you can install the extended Wi-Fi antenna easily. Okay, let's look at this board hardware details. Okay, let's look at this AM PCB board. You can see here that in front of the PCB, you can see all the components, very beautiful. And this is the back. This AM board only have one release because there are many GPIOs that for you to use. That's used by the ESP32, but this time you can see we are using this ESP32 chip because we have mixed this module on our PCB board. And this is the Wi-Fi PCB antenna. And if you want to extend this antenna, you can see here that have a IPX adapt. So you can connect with the wine or soldier on this point for extending the Wi-Fi. And here that is the relay. The relay max is 10 ampere. So you can see uh, that max is 10 ampere. And the average Every relay will have the calm, normal open, and normal close, so that you can connect with your load. And this is ESP32 reset, and the GPIO zero, and this is USB Type B connect with your PC. And this white socket that is I square C extend, so you can extend for your sensor or extend for your I square C device. And we can use this removable socket. And you can see here that is IS485 A and B. That is 3 volt is power supply for your external sensor. That is GPIO 1, GPIO 2, GPIO 3, GPIO 4. So these four GPIOs you can connect with your device that have already have the pull up resistance at here. So you can connect with your temperature sensor or humidity sensor or some other device. And this is DC uh, power supply support, 9 volt and 224 volt. You can see also there are some holes at the PCB board. Uh, you can see that is GPIO 34 and 39 and 38 and 37 and 36. So you can also use this GPIO for your own functions. So you can see here have four points of a GPIO, and there are also have five free GPIO you can use. But this all only used by the input signal, uh, such as analog input or digital input. Uh, this mainly used by the ADC. And this is for two directions communication. Uh, so you can use the input or you can use the output. It's up to you. Okay, if you want to install this small board and to your thing wheel. So you can see we have prepared this plastic shoe. And this can easily to install on the thing wheel. And your board just install into this box that will be fixed on the thing wheel easily. Okay, this is the case 86 am this board also supports the ESP Home uh, integrated to Home Assistant. Thanks for watching.